Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. On today's tutorial, I'll be unboxing an intelligent HD PTZ camera with solar panel, and then I'll be showing you uh, the basic setup of intelligent PTZ camera. Okay, um, a few days ago, my client called me um, and asked me if I can get a single camera that have function of wireless and uh, solar panel with auto rotate. Okay, I told him that yes, I can, I can get something for him, like that. Um, although I told him that the one of the solar panel, I'm not too sure, but uh, I will confirm and I will get back to him. So I, I called one of my business partner and I explained to him. He said that yes, 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 there's a camera in the market now that have uh, such functions. I said okay good 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 i said okay send me the picture of the the camera let me let me see the details about the camera and the functions and the range of which the camera can view okay and the night vision and the rest okay he sends me the picture and i go through it and i check he sent me most the functions and i said okay that is good that is good that is good i said okay and and i asked him that the, yeah, this PTZ camera, are uh, you sure this one is on auto rotate? He said that it's not, it's not too sure, but you can, you can maneuver the, the rotation from your own end. I said, okay, okay, that is good. It's still, it's still same thing. Okay. Then he sent me the picture and I cross check and I check everything. I see that okay, it's good. Then I discuss with my clients. Okay, he asked me to to get it. I. I got the device for him. When I get it, I check it. And it's a very good device and it's incredible. The device is is quite intelligent. It's very very okay. Now this is the device. I'll be showing you on. I'll be on. I'll unbox it and I'll show you on how you can set the device up on your mobile phone. Intelligence camera is here. Let's unbox it. Okay, this is our solar panel. This is the solar panel. Now the solar panel have a double way to charge. You can charge the battery through the solar panel. You can also charge the battery. This is the battery pack. This is the battery pack, and you can also charge the battery through. An AC power supply using a USB cord. Using a USB cord. Look at it. USB, look at the USB port here. You can also charge it using a USB, a USB uh, cord or a USB a charger that have a USB port. So this is the solar panel. Let's keep it here. And this is our PTZ intelligent camera. Why is it called PTZ? Because you can rotate it. It's on 360 rotate. You see? It's on what? 360 rotate. You see that? You see that? Okay. Now this is the unboxing of our PTZ intelligent camera. And I'll be showing you the setup of this camera on your mobile device and this camera there must be a good internet connection on your mobile device before you can get the setup of this camera and as you can see on the camera there's a barcode on it after your setup if you want to add up this device on your mobile or your mobile phone you have to scan this barcode you see that you have to scan this barcode okay this is the basic of the unboxing of our intelligent ptz camera shortly i'll be showing you how to set up a, an intelligent ptz camera on your mobile phone stay tuned okay first uh, what you are going to do um 
the setup of our intelligent ptz camera is first of all we are going to download the app that is going to support our ptz camera by before downloading this app or how can you get this app note you this app is available on apple store and play store now how can we get this app there's a barcode on the 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 pack of the device now there's a barcode there you download your barcode app you click on your barcode app on your mobile device then you scan you see you scan to get the the the, the app like to direct you to their page now if you are using either android or ios or iphone now for me i'm using Android now I'll click on Android it will take you to Play Store now I've already downloaded my own you see it you boss you boss that is, the, that is the name of the the, the app that supports intelligent PTZ camera for this particular device now you open okay you open after you open You add you go to you skip you skip you add the device now I want to add a new device I've already added now I want to add a new device you see you can set this device from uh, Wi-Fi device you can set it from an external Wi-Fi device suit you can set it uh, from a set up 4G device. That's that's that means that you have to scan the barcode. I told you earlier, you have to scan the barcode of the barcode on the device. There's a barcode attached to the PTZ device. You have to scan it. Now let's do it. How can we scan this? Let's do it now. we you first of all you make sure that the, your your connection to the solar is right let's connect it let me show you on how you can you can connect you can do the simple connection let me show you now these are our ptz these are our ptz now you put it to the you connect it to the connection port to the connection port you connect it to the connection port just watch how i'm going to connect it Just watch how I'm going to connect it. You connect it like this to the connection port. You see a, a you see a gap in between the connection port, and you see a gap also between the terminal of this of the other end of the solar. Make sure it goes in directly. Make sure it goes in directly. To avoid leakage. Now, this is cool. You screw it. Once you have done, once you once 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 you you are done with this, connecting the plugs of both end. Once you are done with it, you will see. You will see a blue light on the device. That is to show you that the device is powered. You see a blue light on the device or red red simply means that the device is not yet connected to an in, to an internet if the if if red and um, blue is showing simultaneously 
it simply means that there's something wrong with the connection. So, but ours is showing a steady blue. So, what are we going to do next? Since we have connected our solar to our PTZ camera, now we'll go back to our app. U box, tap on your U box, you add device, you go to set up 4G device. Insert the SIM card, install the camera, install the antenna, then power on the device. The blue LED will light up. After about one minute, now you click, click next. scan the QR code on the camera to connect to your phone. Now we scan the QR code on the camera. You see a QR code there. It's tight. The, the corner is very is in a very tight corner. Or if this is uh, stressful, you can check on the pack again of the of the PTZ camera. You will see in the other end. You will see uh, a sticker attached to the pack. Then you scan it. Okay, you see? Now it's going to search for our device. It's going to search for the device. Let's hold on. And mind you, this is your, your device must have a 4G SIM card with a data inside. I will show you how I will show you where the, the, the SIM card and your memory card is inserted in the device. After <clears throat> we must have add the device to our mobile phone. In some situation, in some situation, if you are trying to connect to the device and it's not connecting, simply means that the network or the, the, the network on your SIM that you inserted in the device is weak or your connection is faulty. That means you have to check the connection you must have done from the beginning of your installation mind you your the internet in your phone must be strong the internet in your phone must be strong Okay, as, as you can see, the device is already in use. Please confirm the device and needs to be reset and re-add. Okay, just because I've added a device, I've added this device on my mobile phone before, is requesting for another setup. So after you have set up or you have you have set it up, you have uh, then it will bring you to a page like this. It will bring you to a page like this. It will bring you to a page like this. Then you click, you see it that your device is online. Okay, okay, you see, we are online now. Our device is online, as you can see. Our device is online. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Now let's try to rotate it. Eve is going to rotate. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? Now let's face it towards us. Let's face the camera.
let me face it to my direction now let's try to spin it you see that it's rotating you see that now it's not an auto rotate but from your own end you can maneuver the rotation note your device must be on internet good internet connection for you to connect to the ptz camera you see that that is our solar device that is the solar panel now it's showing you that the sim card that is inserted in the device is 4g Now, some people might be asking what is the full meaning of PTZ or what is PTZ? What is PTZ? Now, PTZ is just an abbreviation of panning, tilting, and, and zooming. Panning, tilting, and zooming. Just as I said that generally, PTZ can be called uh, a rotational camera why is the camera called PT, uh, ptz it's because it's rotating so the full meaning is panning tilting and zooming you can zoom it you can zoom it you see you see that you see that you see that so basically that is um, how to install a PTZ intelligent solar energy camera. I'll be showing you how I'll be showing you where the SIM card and the memory card is inserted. Now this is where is the, 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 the M card and the, the the 4G SIM is inserted. Under the PTZ camera you find uh, a port you see a port here with a silicon seal then a silicon seal you see it then you open you open it you see you see the port there you see the port there you see look at this the, the port for sim card and the port for our tf our memory card you see it you see it okay now you ask why is the why why is the camera bringing out light? Why is the camera bringing out light? It's simply because it's on is 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 on dark vision. Whenever the camera is on a place that is dark, this light will, will pop out. This light will pop out. That is why the camera I said the camera is also good for night vision. So this security cctv camera is good for um, businesses office your homes and you know so it's very it's very good and let's try to get one <laughs>